Hello and welcome to a How to Win Casual. I'm Heavy's GPS and I've been playing Spy today for you. Spy is a class that really uh, is not that great sometimes and is sometimes the most OP stuff you'll ever encounter. You'll notice that the worse player you play against, the better Spy is. And the better player is the worse he is. He has very limited use in the highest level of play, just for some simple stalemate breaking stuff when people don't expect them. However, that's the key word, if they expect you, you're gonna die a lot and not be able to do much. So, um, I have a tendency to overestimate my enemy's abilities because I used to play on a community server with fairly high tiered players and playing spy there normally went like this, you gotta kill and then they killed you. So you had one shot to get a pick on a crucial player that was actively preventing you from doing from, for your team to do well, and then you would just get that and die. But uh, with casual and playing with people that are all over the place, uh, that's not the case, because you can actually pretty much kill the entire team if they're tunnel vision and deaf enough. So as for Invis-Watch, uh, probably the easiest choice for all spies is to use the Dead Ringer, because it's just so good and OP and stuff, but that's not really fun for me. I like to play with weapons that are a bit more challenging, like the Invis Watch. So here I'm gonna nick two health packs, and then I'm gonna do something. So what I'll also be talking about is the amount of downtime that you have as a spy compared to other classes. If you play a power class, a playmaker, like a scout, or a soldier, or demo man, or heavy, or sniper, not pyro, because he sucks. But uh, you have a lot of time. Like, I spent all that time, I got spotted, and then I died. I didn't accomplish anything. And that will happen a lot if you pay attention to it. Like, how much time you just spend behind enemy lines. And they, they know that you're there. They're not really paying that much attention to you. I mean, they might look for you a little bit and then give up. And then you spend a good 30 seconds doing nothing, and then you die. As opposed to spending that time on a soldier shooting rockets and actually doing damage, occupying space and preventing the enemy team from doing what they want to do. I love the revolver, it's really good, but I'm not sure what happened. Maybe my aim has gotten worse, or the, um, my aim has gotten worse. Maybe it's one of those. Or they increase, like, the, um, accuracy on it. I feel like that's what they have, have done. But, uh, might just be me. I used to be able to land a lot more shots, but then again, I played a lot more spy in the past, too, so might just be like this aim thing. So, going behind enemy lines, of course, picking up health packs. I do like the Invis Watch the most. It has the highest potential skill ceiling because you can increase your value depending on your surroundings. If you're smart and grabbing this, you can also deny health packs and ammo from engineers, stuff like that. And here I spent, look at this time, I'm spending so much time going back here, just seeing if they have anything. I'm just looking for a teleporter, but they didn't have any. I could have seen that if I was observant in the front, if anyone had those teleporter stuff around them. So, I'm still looking. I haven't really gotten anything yet. I see a heavy, and the sniper's onto me, and I go and I stab him, and I die. Uh, I could potentially have tried to do, like, uh, like a chair chair stab, or like a matador stab, or any of those kind of fancy stabs you see, those spy mains pull off, but uh, those only work against bad players, and like I said, I over, always overestimate uh, my t enemy's capabilities, so I don't really do like, oh, uh, this Matador stab's gonna work because this guy's sensitivity is way too low, he's not able to follow this swift movement, as opposed to if you do someone with, uh, like, uh, that's a good player, they will be able to track you just fine and kill you, because what they do is that they actually when you think you're gonna Matador stab them, they actually just move backwards, and then they just kill you. So, that's why I rely on my revolver for the most part. It's way more reliable than, like, praying to the hitbox gods, and that happened. And also, chasing Spy as a spy is very difficult. I know he's there, but, uh, I'm not sure where he went. I'm pretty sure he's not there now, so I'm just gonna do this a little bit. I'm gonna go forward. I really would wish that they would add this feature, because you might not know this if you're a new player, but if you reload your revolver and you are disguised as a class that has a reload animation, that has a clip like a soldier or a demo man, you will actually reload that weapon uh, for them. So that's pretty cool. However, 
you don't do that if you have a full clip and hit reload manually, so I would just hope that they would do that if you just like hit R normally, that you would do like a reload thing. It would really help with the deception. And here we are, uh, there's one guy in the front, there's a medic there, I'm very low on health, so pretty much anything could kill me pretty quickly, and they also have more dudes coming in, so I just stood there in the corner like an idiot doing nothing, and then I got one pick of the heavy, which of course is a pick that you should go for as a spy, and then I go and grab the health, and there's a scout up there, so I'm gonna go and chase him, even though I have low health and I run slower than him. If I had the knife ready and I didn't hesitate, I would have been able to kill him. So this is something you shouldn't do. Don't run up in the face of a scattergun or a force of nature scout. So that's a bad idea. However, if the scout's bad, then of course go for it. Because anything is good against bad players. It's, it's no going around. Liberty Launcher? Ah, oh, great against bad players. Razorback? Sure, even if they don't have a spy, it doesn't matter. You never get in a situation where you would ever use the SMG or Jurati ever because they just suck. Can see this guy's thinking about it and look at the time I'm spending here. I'm doing nothing I'm just looking at dudes just hiding Wasting my time because I'm not getting the picks. I'm not doing the damage And then I'm like all right go and stab him in the back, but doesn't count because fuck spy So um, yeah So I'll, I'll I tried here to like not underestimate or overestimate, but I keep doing it anyway. Like this guy right here probably could have been like snuck around him because this is the guy who's been playing heavy that can just snuck around. And then I get around a crit and I die. Um, so uh, you will see me get pretty salty at the end of this round because uh, I was I was not happy. So I could go for the soldier, but he's being a smart ass. I'm standing in the corner and he will see me coming and I won't be able to get the stab unless he's bad and an idiot, which he isn't. So it's not working. So I'm gonna try and shoot the scout, but he bought so I can't kill him, but he's pretty weak and he's just gonna do that, I guess. Get knocked back into simple fire and die. So here we have the medic. I'm gonna miss the stab and miss the stab and random crit. Well, I deserve that because I've been getting killed by random crits a lot, so it evens out. Grabbing this, and I'm just looking around, seeing oh there's a soldier. Gotta be careful though, because they might know him. Disguising as a sniper, because a sniper would go here. I have been spotted, so I'm not gonna act more suspicious. I'm gonna get my pick and then die to the arrow that was intended for the guy that I stabbed. It happens, so here they are. Here's a little trick. Disguise as a friendly and then uncloak on the cart. You will block it instantly. And then be sure to just stay on the cart and just shoot because your teammates are chickens that doesn't even know. I'm gonna try and get this medic attention. He doesn't wanna heal me and I'm oh, capped because the medic didn't heal me. I was on the cart. Great job not healing me, medic. Made me run off the cart to get your attention. And then they capped guilt, hashtag guilt trip the medic. I don't think getting the heals would have helped, but I was upset, I was mad. Because he did look at me, there was I was in front of everything that he saw. But then again, we're just gonna stab and then shoot. Yeah, so we did that, and oh, another sentry. So I know it's there. So the second time around, of course, we stab the first things. That have spy pyro. Yep. But my goal is on the sentry because God knows casual players struggle against an immobile thing. So it's something important to note. I didn't get the entrance. I did only get the exit. So the engineer knows that I'm here. So I'm just gonna wait for my cloak to fill a little bit, and then I'm gonna try and take the matador stab and fail and die again because of that soldier. So if you don't succeed at first, uh, miss every single shot except the fourth one. And then of course this engineer, um, I ate a rocket, but he is going to disable this and uh, butter knife him. I'm going to feel good about myself. going to make a video where I do this, that you watch, and I just talk over it. So here we have another engineer, and he's pr pretty fucked on his own. I actually didn't have to do this. I actually contributed nothing. He would have died anyway, because he would have run out of metal, because he had no sustain. And I catch on fire, go back and get a heal arrow, and then I almost was able to body block this spot, and I wasn't able to, because I wasn't fast enough. And I have to go to the Oh, hello. Stab. That was the heavy's fault. You should have known that the cart was moving forward and people were behind him. It's actually on the hood. It's how you handle the information. So here I'm actually doing stuff as a spy and it makes sense to be a spy. And like, I feel bad stabbing these guys because he's bumped me several times and he should know that I am a spy and I would kill him, but I guess not because they're new and everything is like so overwhelming when you're playing a new game. There's just so much information you have to deal with. And then get in the second time, and then going around 
here, Medic dies. Trying to get this guy. This is what I, I try to do. I try to act like my team and try to have uh, what you call like uh, balls. Because if people shoot at you and you start acting like a spy when they shoot you, chances are they will keep thinking you're a spy. And this guy, actually, I think I ended up in his blind spot and I was able to get away. And if people are chasing me now, I'm wasting their time. But they are in the position where they want to be, so. It's like you're trying for a stair step, but it doesn't work when a guy isn't in the stairs. So I felt like I'm gonna try and shoot this guy. No, I'm just gonna waste this time and then maybe stab him later because I like that guy was a guy I stabbed before and he's not a threat So I'm just gonna like, let him stay there And then of course after all that I have to go back and okay, so get killed by a scout So good scouts against spies is actually very good if you know where the spy is gonna run So look at this. I'm just staying here the pyro Which I was disguised as I actually ran in front of him and he didn't even notice I'm just staying here and get the kill and this is what I mean like this is where I realized that, oh wait, I can actually treat my enemies like a bunch of idiots that don't know the game and I can just stay here. If this was back in the community server, that pyro would have roasted me and I would have died. So I'm trying to hit this pyro here. He's very weak and he just get the health back just before and I feel pretty bad about it, but I am hurting him. I'm just staying here waiting for my team to go forward. I'm just like uh, contributing small amounts of burst damage. So I get to finish off on well, one kill. However, I would be better if I played any other class but spy in this very moment. So then we are pushing the cart, and I'm gonna go forward here. You gotta be careful of those pyros. There's that heavy again. I'm like, well, that's a pick I'm gonna get, so I go get him. And then the medic is instantly on me with the uber saw, which you should do uh, to get that uber off the spy. However, my team was there to back me up. There's that scout, and if that scout knew what he was doing, he would run upstairs now and see if I was grabbing this ammo. And he doesn't do that. He was upstairs, though. And my cloak's about to run out, and he's just looking for the spies and stuff. And I'm going around the side. I'm decloaking right behind you, and I hit you. You should have heard that. I was decloaked right behind you. It made a sound. and Like, if you do that to experienced players, they just instantly turn around and kill you. And if you do that to new players, it's going to work every time. And if you're a new spy, and you're like, Well, you know, it's a really good strategy to just, like, you know, like disguise and just... Uh, decloak right behind them because that makes it the shortest distance you have to run to stab somebody and it works great And it works great for a little bit uh, until you meet players that know what they're doing and you just die every time Or they just turn around and also Screams should be something you should pay attention to as a player in general if people are screaming it either means they got headshotted or they got stabbed You don't have to actually look at the kill feed, but if you suddenly hear like a like a scream like that means like you got shot in the head because you're an idiot and didn't pay attention so still on attack and watch this this is how to not sap a sentry so I'm gonna just pretend to be a medic so I'm sapping this and sapping this stabbing and then uh, I don't know he repaired it or something anyway it's gone now against a more capable class did they drop down stab the fire up doesn't matter you would have died anyway I made no difference situation whatsoever and the game gave me like what is it like two and a half or, or three points for that so that's why you're like you see spies get that much points but they actually are not that good it's just like to make a spot add up for the all the downtime that the spy have i would guess and then i almost get stabbed and i die whatever it's fine so then i think I will use the Dead Ringer for a little bit later, but uh, right now it isn't that much needed. So I'm gonna cloak and see if we have scouts here, protect our cart. So I'm just gonna go and push the cart, because no one else seems to be doing that. So I'm gonna kill the scout. Yep, get him. I didn't even aim at him, but uh, I hit him regardless. So here we are, pushing the cart. Here's that scout again. I used to be a pyro. Kill him this time, and I'm just pushing my team which there are uh, probably 10 or 11 of um, eventually gets there. So here's a like a really bad dude, um, not a threat, get the stab, feel good about myself, getting pressured by players who know what they're doing, and just die. So I could have tried to escape there, but that would have made me leave the area of operation in which I wanted to stay. So I was also a bit tired here, so I wasn't playing maximum, but I, I would like to do the capture thing. I'm doing, the reason I'm disguising as a scout is because it's the smallest model. See, I'm just pushing the cart, switching to pyro, revealing that I'm a spy, and then just cloaking. I'm seeing another spy. So right here, oh, okay, so there we have some sentries. I know what to do here. This engineer spent a lot of time doing this, so I'll, I don't feel bad. And then 
Let's sap all this cloak and run away. Let's see what else we can do. So right now it's gonna be impossible for me to get a pick and get away with it because there's two guys looking for me. So uh, the only interesting pick is the medic. But I'm just staying around here trying to like be an engineer, but I get found out immediately and I die in two shots because this guy knows what he's doing, kind of, sort of. Going back once again, we see the heavy and I'm gonna, okay, so. Unnecessary cloak prevent me from the stab there. No mistakes. I'm just gonna run back forward and try to act like the enemy team. You can see I'm like, I'm like using voice commands and I'm looking around like pyro, like this guy right there. So I'm trying to get the stab here, and I get it, and then I hide. I should probably be pushing the cart because no one else is. And we see that the sentry is back and the soldiers in the dispenser, and. Go for the stab, sap, sap, and then run away. And now I have a demo knight looking for me, and my cloak's running. I should probably run upstairs, but I just wanted to stay present in case I could get a medic pick. And then I decloak right in front of that guy, and I die. So that was uh, my mistake. I should have gone the other way. But uh, we have the please don't gay spy, and he uh, probably would have blown my cover, and we both would have died. So here I am. It was the sentry that I forgot about that was being rebuilt, and now there's. Pyros and stuff, and this is really hard to deal with as a spy, like a hot. I can't really do anything that matters here. I can just go in and maybe, maybe get a pick, sap the sentry, and then die. You can see just how well that went. So we were fairly close to the cart. I mean, my team just needs to attack at any point in time. Just go there, occupy the space, and push the cart in the hole. So I'm gonna try and create that opening now as a spy, which is pretty difficult. So this sentry is posing some kind of trouble, and oh no, the pyro is actually guarding it. So it's actually four versus one when I'm going in there, and I need the distraction which my team isn't giving. So here we are going in, we have a soldier in a pretty good position, and he stays here using one of the ship launchers. He has killed the stuff, so I go in and I get nothing because they've turned around at any point in time. That's a counter to spy. If you don't want to get stabbed, turn around. Then I grab this and he blew himself up, I guess, and we died. But we're back once again. Now we're on the dead ringer. Gonna fake my death. Gonna go around. Ah, he's guarding the my pit stop, and there's that heavy, and he should have heard me, but he doesn't. So I go and get the stab, sap, sap, sap. Stab this engineer. This heavy down. Just this fucking pyro. Fake my death. So, so if you're um, decloaking too quickly, oh fuck, uh, you heard me. Alright. Uh, pro tip, if you want to activate uh, Dead Ringer and uh, Fagin as quickly as you can, just hold right click. If you keep spamming it, you might accidentally decloak yourself. And this is always fun when a soldier blows himself up on you guys. You have super armor! Because a spy needs that, apparently. And wait, I'm just waiting for the health pack. And there we go! And hello, and I'm gonna try and get back here. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to do shit because there's a pyro there, so I'm gonna have to decloak in the stairs. And now we have three spies because that's good to have. And I'm just, I just gotta wait here until my cloak goes up because otherwise I will die. And oh, look, he's looking for me. And I was being obvious and I died because I was an idiot. And I would have been able to escape, but I might not have been able to done anything because they're on fucking spy alert down there in the base, and the sentries is back up. How many times do I have to sap this before my team can kill a pyro? Like, you probably heard me. Knows that I'm here. Knows that I have to come. So we go sap, sap, sap. I probably, I missed the sap on the building, I think. And then I, it doesn't matter anyway, because they just instantly swarm me and kill me. And uh, yeah, we failed. And then I'm just giving my salty advice, which is just hold W to move forward. And actually just move closer to the enemy and not just standing choke points and do that. And uh, yeah, most kills on everyone on the server. Go, go me. I'm not very good at spy.